Ukrainian men in Ukraine between the ages of 18 to 60 are under orders to stay in the country to fight the Russian invasion. And some Ukrainians are even returning to defend their homeland from the safety outside of Ukraine. And that includes Tennis Star, uh, known for beating Roger Federer at Wimbledon back in 2013. Sergei Stakovsky, who uh, left his family to go back to Ukraine to fight the Russians, and he is with us now. Um, Sergei, thank you so much for, for being with us. Just to be clear, you know, you, you have a young family, a wife and kids, and, and yet you left safety to go into Ukraine and no hesitation. Tell us why. Well, there was, of course, a hesitation. Uh, it's impossible to make that call without a hesitation. I have three kids and a wife, and, uh, you know, we were, we were in vacation in Dubai when... When this happened, and uh, you know, I've been in a tennis tournament. I've seen the guys there, and uh, nothing would, you know, would say that uh, that uh, Russia would wage war and invade Ukraine. Um, it was not an easy decision, and for me, in these circumstances, it was not a decision which, which would uh, be right for me. If I would stay home, I would feel guilt that I didn't come back, and and now I'm here, and I feel guilt that I left them at home. And, and your kids think you were at a, at a tennis event. Is that right? I would say something like that. Uh, I, my wife didn't tell them, and I didn't tell them when I was leaving where I'm going. Uh, so I'm guessing they're pretty smart because the elder one, elder daughter, Taisha, she's seven, and and, and middle son, Nikki, for he's six. So I guess they'll figure out soon. So look, you know the reality of what you're facing. You know the risks that you're taking. H how did you yeah. have that? How did you have that discussion with your wife? Of course, she was mad and she didn't accept that decision. And that's obvious. I mean, now we're back to normality. She understood the reasons for me, but for her, it was a betrayal. And I totally understand why she feels that way. But uh, I didn't want to, I was born in Ukraine. Ukraine never as a country uh, gave me any support, whether, whether it was developing my sports or in any other matter. But it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter whether something was given to me by my country or not. I was born here. My grandparents are buried here, and I would like to have a history to tell to my kids. And if I would stay home and Ukraine would fail, then there would be no Ukraine, not even in history books. Because according to Putin, Ukraine was established by Lenin in the beginning of the of uh, of the Soviet Union. That it never existed before that. And those lies would be then trans, trans, uh, transformed into history books and. Uh, modern history of Ukraine would be non-existent. So like many people who have taken up arms to fight the Russians, you do not have military experience. How are you preparing? Well, we've got a basic class of how to shoot. I do believe that uh, people like me will be the last to last resort. But the problem is that the people of my style are the dominant one. I mean, there's I would say there's south. I would say a hundred of south in the. The biggest issue is that nobody here is welcoming Russian world. Nobody wants Russia to free them from what they have. They have freedom and democracy, and Russia wants to bring uh, despair and poverty. Are you are you prepared to sacrifice your your life, Sergey? Listen, this is a question which I don't have an answer to. I'm not sure that there's one individual who's ready to tell you now whether he's ready to sacrifice his life. It, it's, 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 I want to see my kids, that's for sure. I want to see my wife, that's also, that's my goal. But in a given moment, nobody knows what's going to happen. Maybe I even don't have to. If the missile comes into the house, well, is that sacrificing a life? No, it's just being killed. It's not a sacrifice. What is your message, Sergei, to your, to your wife and to your kids? My message is that I love them very much and they understand the reasons why I'm here because the country which I love and which the citizen of I am, I have only one passport and I would like it to still be uh, on a map, develop, become better, become European more and eventually my kids can, you know, can see the transformation of my country. Sergey, your family is beautiful. We do hope that you remain safe and that you are reunited with them. Thank you. Thank you very much.